Hello everybody, Ben Rogers here, the Raptors Digest. Now, there's been crazy Jimmy Butler news over the past week saying he might be disgruntled, he's going to meet with Tom Thibodeau. Well, a bombshell was just dropped about 15 minutes ago from Sham saying that he has demanded a trade from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, there's been a lot of speculation that he could possibly be traded to the Toronto Raptors. We've made two videos on it already, and the news just keeps pouring out. Now, when this trade demand first came out, according to Shams, he wants to be traded and he'd be willing to sign an extension for a list of three teams. And Shams didn't mention the three teams. I was crazy excited, right? Because obviously with all the, the little hints and nuggets that have been dropped, you'd assume that the Toronto Raptors would be on that list. But no. About seven minutes later, seven minutes after Shams drops that tweet, right, I'm about to do my initial reaction, right, I, I scroll through Twitter and I see Woj drop another bomb saying that the three teams that Jimmy Butler would be willing to sign an extension with right now if he was traded are the LA Clippers, the New York Knicks, and the Brooklyn Nets. Now, this is, this is crazy to me. This is... Why on earth would he want to go to the Clippers? Or, you know, I could see the Lakers, maybe. The Lakers just got in LeBron. That would be an exciting team to go to. The Rockets, they have a good roster. The, even the Celtics, even the even the Celtics, I can see this. But the Brooklyn Nets, what is this list of teams? Now, as a Raptors fan, this is obviously a Raptors podcast, so we're coming from a Raptors perspective. This news has a significant impact on the Toronto Raptors' future for multiple reasons. Obviously, there's the one that we want Jimmy Butler on the roster. If we could get Jimmy Butler, that puts us in championship contention, you know, almost immediately. We could definitely compete with the Golden State Warriors and should definitely come out of the East if we don't have to give that much up to bring in Jimmy Butler. So there's that perspective, and I'll get into that later. I've been talking about that for the past week. But the very significant and almost scary thing that impacts the Raptors is the fact that that list has the LA Clippers listed on it. The fact that Jimmy Butler would be willing to sign an extension with the LA Clippers. Now you can hear that statement and be wonder why on earth does that affect the Toronto Raptors. But our best player, Kawhi Leonard, has been linked to the LA Clippers all summer. He said before he was traded to us, because there hasn't been much coming out of the camp ever since he's been traded, since there's been since he's been moved. But all summer that they, he was saying that he wanted to play in LA either for the Lakers or the Clippers. And currently the Clippers have this the best betting odds to land Kawhi Leonard next summer ahead of us. We're currently at two. So the Clippers are currently the highest betting odds people are expecting. He's expected right now to go to the Clippers. This hasn't really been a worry for Raptors fans right now, as obviously he hasn't been integrated to the team yet. He hasn't, you know, see, played with the roster, played with the guys. Toronto's a phenomenal city, and we're hoping it's going to entice him, and he's going to love it, and all those sorts of things. So even though they're the best betting odds right now, it hasn't really been an issue. And we haven't really been worried about the Clippers. The Lakers are more so the team that everyone thinks could have the best shot. Because the Clippers just have a trash roster. Right now, their best player is Tobias Harris, and they have zero chance of doing anything in the Western Conference. They likely won't make the playoffs. So really, it's unrealistic to think that Kawhi Leonard is going to leave such a phenomenal situation in Toronto to go to such a broken roster like the Clippers have. But with this news breaking about Jimmy Butler willing to sign an extension with the LA Clippers, if they could somehow land him, if they could trade, make a move for Jimmy Butler and he's already on the team and willing to sign long term, that dramatically increases the attractiveness of the LA Clippers. There will be a team in Kawhi's home city with a star he could legitimately be paired with and be the number one guy on the team with lots of cap space in the summer that he is a free agent. That is a complete red flag for Toronto Raptors. That would be the worst case scenario for the team going into next offseason. We don't want the Clippers to have an attractive roster and have a star like Jimmy Butler. So as a Raptors fan, I think that's the last place that we want to see Jimmy Butler end up. We do not want Jimmy Butler to end up in the Clippers as that will dramatically increase the difficulty of retaining Kawhi Leonard next summer. And another place, another place, it might sound crazy, and it's the craziest team on this list that might have a significant impact on the Toronto Raptors is if Jimmy Butler gets traded to the Brooklyn Nets. Now, the reason this could also have a potential horrific impact on the Toronto Raptors is because over the summer, there were some rumors, there were sources that came out saying that Kawhi Leonard might be willing to leave the Raptors to go to the Brooklyn Nets and form a super team as they have so much cap space next year and they're in a huge market. Now, over the summer, we made a video reacting to these reports and, and we laughed at it. The Brooklyn Nets have been one of the most trash organizations over the past few years, ever since they made that 
deal with the Boston Celtics to give away all their first round picks and have no talent on the roster whatsoever. They just they don't have a strong team right now. Their management has improved and they they obviously overhauling the Billy King who'd made those crazy trades. They have a good set of management and good coaching staff right now, but their roster just is not good and that it's not going to look good because they're not bad enough to be the worst team in the NBA so they're not going to get any top picks but they're not good enough to probably make the playoffs so they're in a very weird NBA pur- purgatory and it wouldn't make sense for a star player to go there but so we laughed at those rumors but if Jimmy Butler can go there and honestly I don't really see how they can make a trade work with the Minnesota Timberwolves so I'm I'm less worried about the Brooklyn Nets as they just really don't have many assets but if Jimmy finds his way there, maybe that gives some validity to these crazy reports that came out the summer, and maybe he could attract Kawhi Leonard being there. I'm really scared right now of Kawhi Leonard leaving to play with Jimmy Butler. I just made two videos breaking down how perfectly they would complement each other if they're on the same team, and obviously that was in context of being on the Toronto Raptors, but I could just see Kawhi Leonard falling in love with playing the idea of playing with Jimmy Butler and going to a team that he is on. Out of the list of the three teams that I'd like to see Jimmy Butler get traded to, out of like that list, I'd like to see him go to the New York Knicks. This is because the Knicks have come out and said their number one free agent target next year by, by a mile is Kyrie Irving. And there's been no links to Kawhi going to the New York Knicks. He's not been attached to that name. There, there hasn't been any talks of it. But Kyrie is the main guy that I could see wanting to play with Jimmy Butler in New York. right? So not only does that... Because that, that's two max players right there. I don't think they're going to be able to pay for a third with Kawhi Leonard. So I don't see him teaming up with Jimmy in New York. And that takes Kyrie Irving out of Boston onto a weaker roster. As I think a team with Jimmy Butler and Porzingis, who's coming off ACL surgery, is worse than the current team that the Celtics have. So it makes the Celtics weaker and shouldn't directly impact Kawhi. It shouldn't attract him to a certain team. So if, out of those three teams, I'd like to see him get traded to the New York Knicks the most. But as a Raptors fan, this is something we have to keep a crazy eye on because where Jimmy Butler goes has a direct impact on our team, our future, and our best player. But now that we got the scary stuff out of the way of this news report, there is some positives to look at in this the, these Woj, Woj and Shams bombs that were dropped 15 minutes apart. Jimmy Butler wants to be traded, and he doesn't have a choice of where he is going to be traded. He can tell the team places that he's willing to re-sign immediately, but he doesn't have a choice of where he can go. So the Toronto Raptors can still make a move and have a chance at bringing him into the roster. He didn't name us on the top three list, but that doesn't matter. Kyrie Irving did not name the Boston Celtics on his top six teams he wanted to go to last season, last season when he was traded. Kawhi didn't name us when he demanded a trade from the San Antonio Spurs, but he ended up in Toronto. There's still a high possibility that Jimmy Butler could end up making his way to Toronto. We have more assets than the Clippers, the Nets, and the New York Knicks. We have more tradable assets and could make a more enticing deal than either three of those teams. And Masai Ujiri knows we are going all in on this season. This is the year that we want to push all our chips to the table. And if we can have success... There's a very high chance that we could bring Jimmy Butler and Kawhi Leonard back if they, because obviously they're going to enjoy the city, they'd enjoy everything, and if we have team success, it's going to be a tough place for those guys to leave. So I'm Mazai Ujiri right now. Obviously, he didn't say that he'd sign an immediate extension with the Toronto Raptors if he was traded here. But now that he's listed the Clippers and the Nets for reasons I explained at the beginning of the pod, I think there should be more urgency for the Toronto Raptors to make a move for Jimmy Butler. I think Masai Ujiri should get on the phone right now and be willing to make serious negotiations with the Minnesota Timberwolves immediately before another team steps in. If that means having to come out and say that you're willing to move a, a young guy on our roster that, that is juiced with potential, we might have to just because of the situation that we are in. right? Jimmy Butler could be the key that puts us over the top, or he could be someone else's key to an enticing Kawhi Leonard to sign with them next offseason. Right there, there should be a major sense of urgency in the Toronto Raptors organization right now to make a move for Jimmy Butler. I don't know what the Timberwolves are negotiating and what deals they're willing to accept, but if moving a young, promising player means bringing in a star and having a better chance at keeping Kawhi Leonard, I think we have to do it. 
especially now that if we don't do anything, if we don't make a move, we're at risk of him going to one of the prime competitors in the Kawhi Leonard sweepstakes. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Masai Ujiri should go all out right now and trade for Jimmy Butler? Because I think that's that's the way I'm leaning right now. Obviously, this news just hit me, and it's a quick reaction to it. But do you think we should make a quick move as a Raptors fan? Or should we let things play out and see what happens? And let me know what team you'd like to see Jimmy Butler go to if it's not the Toronto Raptors. Because in my opinion, I think the Knicks are the spot. And honestly, it might be the most realistic, as obviously the New York Knicks have uh, Joe Kim Noah on the roster. and We all know that Tom, Th- Tom Thibodeau is trying to make the Timber Bulls in, uh, in Minnesota, so he's going to try and bring back one of his old guys. But in all honesty, where do you think that, where do you want to see Jimmy Butler end up if it's not Toronto? Anyways, you guys are the best for making it this far. It's been a, this could be some positive, crazy positive news as now that we know Jimmy Butler wants out, but it could be awful because of the, the teams he's willing to sign an extension with. But write your thoughts in the comment section below. You're the best. Cheers.